Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to my florals series. In these videos, I'm showing you beautiful tangle patterns created by people all over the world. Some of them are flowers, some of them are leaves, um, botanicals. They are, most of them are non-representational, which means I'm not teaching you how to draw a rose or a pansy. They are just patterns that resemble different flowers or um or organics so there's so much fun and today we are on day 10. so i have my little sketchbook uh, micron pen this is a pn plastic nib pen a graphite pencil a blending tool and my eraser and then i am doing mine on these three and a half inch by three and a half inch paper tiles and um, these are from zentangle.com and so each day i'm drawing a flower pattern on them and then the next day i draw a second pattern so i have two per tile and then i'm taping them together to create this beautiful garden so that's what i'm going to be doing with mine but of course you can just draw yours in a sketchbook or whatever you have around your home all right so we are on day 10 let's see here we go all right this one is let's write day 10 here this one is called maluhia i believe i'm saying that right maluhia pua i might be saying that part wrong i'm probably saying both parts wrong and that was created by Debbie Monero. And I believe that Debbie purchased one of my May kits. So Debbie, if this is you, thank you so much for your beautiful tangle and thank you for purchasing a kit. So I already had um, a couple of your tangle patterns down in my notebook before I started my May florals. So kind of exciting to see your name pop up when I was selling the kits. All right, so Debbie Monero and Malu, Maluhia Pua, I believe. Okay, I love this one. So this one is not really a flower. It's more of like a leafy thing that you would find in a garden. So we make a line. And then at the top, we put in that kind of a pointy oval or like a seed shape. Then we put in a V shape partway down. And then we put in a larger V shape. And that could probably be more at the halfway point. And the bottom one is going to be longer than the middle one. Then we make this same sh seed shape, same seed shape, a uh, little tongue twister. And we make it go from the bottom to the top of each of these lines. And then in the top, she puts in a little line, a dot, and a line. And then she adds these little kind of uh, little sprigs or little pieces that stick out and have a little dot on the end. And then same thing down here, but maybe a little bit wider. What do you think? Isn't that beautiful? So I looked up Maluhia. Um, it said that is a Hawaiian word for peace. So I love that. 
All right, another option she gave for the top, that little seed pod part, is to make like a Y shape as if these petals are sort of closing in on each other. So that is beautiful as well. Okay, and that is it. I love this one. I love the simplicity and the elegance of it. And I just, I think it's wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna put that away and I'm going to grab my tiles. So again, these are three and a half inch tiles. And this is from Zentangle.com. So I wrote down here, day 10, Malohia Pua, Debbie Monero. And then let's take a peek at our garden so far. So this is what we have going on. And I just love it so much. So great. So, so great. Okay. So, you know, I love to cross over the edge here. So I feel like I should grab a three and a half inch tile and I should probably tape one on. Usually I do that before my video, but I did not. Okay, so I just put one right here next to it. And I'm just adding a piece of tape to keep them together. Okay, here we go. I'm excited about this one. I just feel like every floral pattern so far has been so much fun to make. Okay, so we're going to put a couple of these in. So I think I'm going to, these two both kind of curve to the left. So I feel like I want this one to curve to the right. And I'm going to make this one really tall. And then maybe I'll make a smaller one over here. And I'm going to curve mine. That's pretty tall, but I think we can still make it work. Okay, we put in that seed shape at the top, which is just a curve and a curve. And because mine is so long, I think I'm gonna do three Vs. So I'm gonna do one here. And I'm gonna do another one part way down. I'm just going to let it tuck in behind that leaf. And then I'm going to do another one at the bottom. This is getting pretty large. I think it's meant to be a little bit smaller, but that's okay. All right, we put in these curves around each of these. Now this one I have to imagine going way out here. See how we're just lifting our pen when we get to another image and letting it tuck in behind. Same thing here. And there. And I'm gonna put in the line, the dot and the line. And then those little pieces that come out that just add this elegant little detail. I love it. I love its um, just beautiful elegance next to this little bit more complicated one. I just think that looks amazing. All right, let's see if I can find my, where is it? I should show you my desk because it's kind of a mess. Okay, so I have this little um, Zentangle 
bookmark that I'm using as a ruler. So on the back, I just made a little mark and I've been using that for each tile. So I'm going to line that up at the top of my next tile. I just want to continue this border so that I can draw the next one kind of crossing over. So I'm gonna do this here and here. And I just use the side of my bookmark to create that border. Okay, now we can continue on. All right, I love that one so much. So I'm going to make a smaller one. I'm going to have it curve this way. So I'm actually going to start it over here on this tile. And I just think that will look pretty cool. So like that. Put in that top. And this time I'll do that Y shape. And I think I'm going to do three again, just because I have enough room. So I'm going to do a little one, a medium one, and a large one. I'm going to try not to take up too much space of this tile because I still need to fit two more in there. But I love when these cross over each other. All right, add these curves to each line. And then I'm going to put in these little curves that have the dots. There we go. I love that one. All right, let's do some shading and then we'll add a few embellishments on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna do kind of what I've been doing on the other ones as far as the leaves are concerned. I'm gonna put in this little bit on the bottom, just a tiny bit. But then I'm also going to put it in that top part. I'll do the same thing up here on this little one. I take my blending tool and I just push that slightly towards the middle. Just a little bit. Look at how that makes those look nice and curved. And the goal is always to have the darkest part where you put it, and then it gets lighter and lighter until it reaches the white. These larger ones, I can push it up a little bit more. And this bottom one. And do the same thing on the next one. But up here where we did the petal a little bit differently, we can imagine like a little shadow on this side of the Y and a little shadow right here. It's very subtle, but just gives that little overlapping look. Put a tiny bit in the bottom and a tiny bit in the top of each of these. I 
I love the dimension that this gives them. What do you think? I think those are beautiful. All right, so we can add some little embellishments to this. So one thing that we did a few days ago was the um, ladybug. So let's add a ladybug again somewhere. So maybe I will put the ladybug on this little piece right here. And I'm not giving this one legs. I'm not sure why. I just kind of like him just resting on there. Look at that cute little embellishment. And then I want to use some of these leaves. So I'm going to put in some of these curves with that line. I can do some of them as a double. And I can even add that little bit of a line with a dot. You can always take elements from the pattern and reuse them. So let's do another one up here. Maybe this one will do one on one side and one on the other side. And just add those wherever you want. Do one more over here. And this one I'm going to do what we did at the top of that first one with a little line and a dot. And I'm going to do some grass down here. And then I am inking in my grass just black. But remember to make some of these little grass blades nice and tall so it doesn't look too tiny and unrealistic. There we go. All right, I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. And gosh, every one of these I just think has been so amazing. So that was day 10. That means we have 13 more to go. So please tune in tomorrow. And if you follow me on Facebook at Let's Tangle, I'm trying to do um, each weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, a show and tell. And I would love to see your progress or something else creative that you are working on. So that is Let's Tangle on Facebook. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.